Today's show is sponsored by the City of Riverside, California, Workforce Development Division. Big shout out to Riverside Unified School District and Albert Unified School District. An astronomer is a scientist who studies objects in space, like planets, stars, galaxies, and even black holes. There are also different types of astronomers. Some are called observational astronomers, who use telescopes to collect data about objects in the sky. Speaking of that, have you ever looked through a telescope? It's amazing. But imagine looking through a giant telescope that can take a 3D photo of the entire galaxy. Some astronomers came together to create the LSST, also known as the Legacy Survey of Space and Time. This nine foot long camera is almost as big as a small family van and weighs more than six California grizzly bears. <laughs> ah, mama! The purpose of the camera is to get as many photos of our galaxy as possible. You see, the average camera on our phones has 12 megapixels, but the LSST has 3,200 megapixels, allowing it to take super clear photos of the universe. By next summer, the LSST will be sent into space to take one photo every 30 seconds for 10 years straight. When it comes back to the ground, scientists and astronomers will have a 3D map of the universe. Now, how cool is that? A 3D fashion designer uses digital technology to create and design clothing and accessories. They're able to use computer software to print designs straight onto shirts, dresses, pants, and anything that you can wear. How would you feel being able to change the pattern of your shirt just with a touch of a button? Well, 3D fashion designers partnered with Adobe to create Project Primrose, a digital dress that brings fabric to life. Using the Adobe software app on any computer, simply transfer your art onto any piece of fabric. How does it work? The closing uses small material tiles that connect to your Adobe software and copies the designs by a click of a button. You can even move around in your dress and still change the design. You can make patterns and animate the dress however you want. I need that drip. A computer vision engineer designs, builds, and tests all sorts of hardware and software so computers can see. They're also the ones that create safety systems that allow cars to stop when they sense other cars or people crossing the road. Now that's a pretty important job. Some computer vision engineers came together to create the first ever car that fish can drive. It may look silly, but check out how cool it is. The computer implanted in the bottom of the vehicle can track where the fish swim, which makes the vehicle turn and move in the same direction. So instead of a steering wheel, the fish can direct the vehicle with their movement. An electronic engineer designs and develops electronic systems like music players, GPS devices, and even phones. A group of electronic engineers came together to create the ASB LumiFlex the world's first official basketball court made of glass. Hoo-hoo! Can you imagine playing a game of basketball and the floor lights up while you're playing? The court was created with three separate layers. The first is the original ceramic surface as a regular basketball court. The next layer is thousands of LED lights. And finally, the last layer is a thin glass that lights up the floor letting the court showcase designs, images, and even videos for the players to play on. The court has a lifespan of over 70 years, and the LED lights can last up to 100,000 hours. That's about 12 years. Thanks to electronic engineers, basketball games have gotten a lot more fun, baby. Aerospace engineers design and test airplanes, spacecrafts, and satellites. They work on improving technology for flight, both in the Earth's atmosphere and in space. At Spin Launch, aerospace engineers have created the A33, short for the Accelerator 33. This system is built to launch rockets into space, almost like a giant slingshot. The system itself is built like a carnival ride, pushing the rocket in a circle to gain speed until it opens up the window and shoots out. Its launcher is taller than the Statue of Liberty and weighs over 2.2 million tons. 
Incredible! The 833 spins the rocket around at 5,000 miles per hour before releasing it through the tube and shoots it into the sky. In just 30 seconds, the rocket will reach space. That's like traveling from New York to California across the entire United States in the same amount of time. Now that's what I call super speed. <laughs>